We have new reports now stating that this massive volcano, the Campi Flegre volcano in Naples, is reaching this level that they're saying is critical degassing pressure status. This CDP status in this area where they say what is happening here is it's a sudden release of water-rich gases in vast volumes. And they're saying that if this continues at this rate, this could lead to rock failure. And that collapse could cause an explosion and an eruption of the volcano. So what's so important to note here is that this is in one of the most densely populated places in the area. And what they've been seeing is the swelling. And they, they propose that the magma could reach or be approaching the CDP at this volcano. And this sits in the metropolitan areas of Naples, one of the most densely inhabited areas in the world, and where accelerating deformation and heating are currently being observed. So a time frame as to when this can happen, there's not one put out there. They're just being on alert status saying that, look, we're seeing activity. These things are hard to predict. One collapse in the right spot could set off an eruption. Or hopefully it doesn't erupt. But when it comes to volcanoes, it's only a matter of time because it's what they do. So, you know, Italy's seen some earthquake activity here recently. Some big quakes, some big quake swarms. It's done some damage. And I talked about then, are we seeing magma on the move? And with no movement going right toward a volcano in that instance, you kind of have to sit back and wait and see. But something like this, it's worth noting that it's seeing activity. I mean, if something like this was happening, say, Yellowstone, you'd want to know if the ground was, if there was more uplifting, the release of gases and, and signs showing that there could be a collapse especially when it's an active volcano. But what's so important about this is that it sits in an area that it, where it would affect so many people, not just the blast and the evacuation, but the plume, everything else, the ash, the fallout, that would affect the whole area. And anything downwind, for sure. But that's just a heads up and a look and what they're saying here about that one in particular volcano, we've seen other activity across the globe, Kalima and Mexico erupting others. Nothing that has caused a disruption, though, like we've seen back when the events happened in Iceland, where they had to close airspace and everything else from the plume uh, from that eruption. And that was most of, uh, well, they closed the airspace in some European countries as it was feared that ash from that volcano would damage the aircraft engines and could bring them down out of the sky. So things to think about if you live around or near or downwind from a volcano. And if something like Yellowstone was to ever erupt, you're talking, you know, it's going to change things on a global scale. And you have to keep in mind the weather pattern, which way the plume would head east either northeast, east, or southeast. It's all pushing to the east there with the jet stream coming across the United States. But something to think about nonetheless. You know, these volcanoes can blow at any time, and we've seen other activity, like I said, around the globe here recently. And it's just uh, the nature of the planet and the volcano. And if you're around one, like I always say, have a plan. That's for sure. Same if you're in an earthquake-prone area, have a plan. And I will continue to update if anything changes here with this specific volcano or any other major volcanic activity. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and my other YouTube channel, Dabu777. And for those of you out there looking to stock up on any kind of medicine before crisis situation, make sure to check out our recent sponsor here at the Essential Drug Store. I'll leave links below. Much love.